Hello there, I am Dennis Bramwell from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. At last. In this community update, we're taking a closer look at Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker. We're also giving you some news on clone trooper appearances available in our latest update. With lightsaber attacks second to none, the Chosen One is a force of nature at close range. His attacking dominance with a lightsaber is demonstrated even more when using his guard breaking and high damage ability called Passionate Strike. While preparing to deliver his heroic impact, Anakin is able to absorb a lot more damage. In fact, any incoming attacks will make this ability even stronger while it's being built up. When released, Anakin will send all surrounding opponents flying with a 360 degree force push. Using the ability Pull Dominance, Anakin pulls his enemies in front of him, leaving the targets vulnerable for follow-up attacks. Anakin is ready to unleash his raw power on the battlefront through his fourth and unique ability, Retribution. As Anakin and his nearby allies take damage, his anger builds up and can be unleashed by force choking all enemies in the area. Anakin Skywalker is wearing his Jedi Knight outfit by default, with the Jedi robes as an unlockable alternative. Also, two additional Clone Trooper Legions will be available to unlock in this update. The 501st Legion, led by Anakin himself during the Clone Wars, and the Coruscant Guard, who served as peacekeepers on the capital planet of the Galactic Republic. We're adding some additional updates to the Clone Army as well, including some fixes to current Legion appearances and the opportunity to play as armored officers. See you on the battlefront, and may the Force be with you. Young Skywalker.